the original dreamer. She is the reason why we have the Dream Act. No deal. No dream. No My deal. full name is Teresa Lee, spelled with a Z because I was born in Brazil. I can't imagine my parents, when they came here, when I was this little, how they could have done that, made that very difficult decision to start over. And that just shows how desperate they were. My parents had escaped the destructions of Korean War. They escaped to Brazil, but soon they were robbed. So they were forced to start over again. My mother sold her wedding ring and some jewelry, and with that money, they bought plane tickets and visas to the United States. When I was about seven years old, my dad sat us around and said he has something very serious to tell us about, that we were undocumented. So if we were separated, my dad explained to us that I would be sent to Brazil my dad, mom would be sent to Korea, and my little brother who was born in Chicago would be put in foster care somewhere. So that was fear that I grew up with. My dad was a pastor of a church, and this very wealthy lady at my dad's church donated thousands of dollars worth of furniture, including a piano. And I had a piano since I was seven years old. Piano was my escape from reality. The reality of me being undocumented, the reality of growing up very poor, so poor that we didn't have food in our house. I practiced and practiced and practiced, and I knew I needed a teacher because I would come at a dead end practicing on my own. I contacted my high school choir director, and he told me about Merit School of Music. I had an audition, I met with the teachers, and they let me in the school and gave me scholarship to take lessons there. And a year later, I got to perform the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. That was the beginning of my concert piano career. I came out to my music director of Mary School of Music, it's Anne Monaco, and I was a, of the age of applying to colleges, and she asked me what colleges I was planning on applying to, and I said I wasn't planning on applying to college. She said, that's ridiculous. And so that's when I broke down in tears and I confessed to her that we were undocumented. She said, do you trust me? And I said, I do. And she decided that we should call Senator Durbin. Well, we've got to show it in our votes. So we started gathering letters from everyone we knew that knew me as a pianist, including donors, including other musicians and artists that were well known. 10 years ago, I was contacted by Ann Monaco, a teacher at the Merritt School of Music in Chicago. Senator Durbin looked into my case, and he wanted to help, but he saw that there was nothing that he could do. We contacted the INS, and they told us that she had an option. Teresa would have to leave the United States for 10 years. I would just have to be sent back to Brazil, a completely foreign place to me. So he decided to write a personal bill. Other students started coming out, and. Uh, saying, I heard about this bill. Then Durbin's office realized that there were more undocumented students like me. So he uh, decided that he needed to redraft this personal bill, make it into a larger bill. And that's when I started to work on the DREAM Act. So September 12, 2001 was the hearing for the DREAM Act in front of the Senate. And I was getting ready to attend it and also perform on the piano for the Senate. But everything was canceled. The flights were canceled on 9-11. The hearing was canceled. And the tone of our country's politics changed that day. Anything friendly towards immigrant rights was shut down. 
The DREAM Act was actually reintroduced in 2003, in 2005. They all failed. In 2007, it was actually uh, reintroduced with the Pentagon support because they needed soldiers on the field in Iraq. 2009, they reintroduced it. 2010, it failed. 2011, we had a hearing. 2013, it was reintroduced as part of the package of comprehensive immigration reform. That went nowhere. And now we have Trump. We will build a great wall along the southern border. Ever hear of the DREAM Act? The DREAM Act isn't for our children. The DREAM Act is for other children that come into the country. I want the DREAM Act to be for our children. They have become Americans. They've spent their lifetime in the classrooms of America, pledging allegiance to the only flag they've ever known, singing the only national anthem they know, being part of the only country they know. Do you have the courage to stand for our dreams? If you say you're with us, this is what it means. Pass a clean dream act now. Pass it now. Pass a clean. Being undocumented. And that meant you grew up with um, the fear every single day of being separated from our families. We love our families more than you know. We're fighting to all stay home. Yes. We planted seeds and we need them to grow. We're fighting to all stay home. I was lucky enough to fall in love and uh, we got married. He happened to be a U.S. citizen. Now we have two kids. Even though I'm a U.S. citizen now, I can't help myself but to keep fighting for the millions of other undocumented people, especially because I was undocumented for decades because that trauma still is engraved within me and it will never be erased. 15 years later, we are still fighting harder than ever for immigrant rights. But we have been organizing and the people are speaking out. A whopping 86% of Americans want the Dream Act. We have to organize. We can't not give up because that's the only choice we have. We have to keep moving forward. We have to keep fighting. We have to do this until it passes.